All right, we forgot to take the video walking in, but we're here at BCW 30. We got Curlis Maddy right there with Aaron Sanders. Yo, boys, we're getting ready for the 30th anniversary. Stay tuned.
I'm having a good time. There's an intermission. You mean we have to stop for this? Ten minutes. The lights are going to stay on. And so far, I think my favorite match is the PCW Tag Team Title Match. Aiden Prince and El Reverso, new tag team champions. What do you guys think? Homegrown hero. We finally got the job done after being gone for so long. I'll tell you, I love a good comeback story. And Aiden Prince, he's now a king with El Reverso as the new PCW Tag Team Champions. We're here at Sports Entertainers Podcast with the brand new BCW Tag Team Champions, El Reverso, and Aiden Prince. Aiden, we're going to start with you. This is your first match in quite some time. How does it feel? And plus, 30th anniversary card. This had to be one of the finding moments in your career at BCW. 100%, man. I've, uh, I've had a lot of big moments in BCW, a, lo a lot of them. Uh, but this one was extra huge. One, because I get to work with my buddy here, but... But also because we won the tag titles, and it is my first match in nearly eight months. So um, I sat at home. Unfortunately, I broke my leg. Uh, so I sat at home for almost eight months watching wrestling, man. It was brutal. It was very brutal. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You know, it was a very negative time. Um, but coming back, yeah, you know, you have this different motivation. You know what I mean? It's a different feeling. You're, you're ready to work, man. I, I'm more motivated than ever. Yeah. Can't argue with the passion there. El Reversal. This has to be huge for you. Just talk about what is it like to work with Aiden Prince and how special this moment for you. Oh, I'm going to start out by saying not only is it extremely uh, special for me, but uh, when I got a call from this guy to come in and, and challenge for these tag titles, like me personally, I missed the 25th anniversary show. I was injured myself, and I had to sit at home and watch all this go on. And I was worried about that for my friend here. So when he called me and said he was ready to go, I'm not going to lie, I jumped out of my seat. And I was like, I'm going to be there. Without a doubt, we're going to win these tag championships. We're going to take them home, and that's exactly what we did. Okay. So, yeah, it, it one of the most special times. First time I'm ever winning a title for Border City Wrestling, and I've been and here. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, hold yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Jacques Rougeau. I mean, talk about this. Talk about this tag team. They're decorated in gold in BCW's 30th. You know, I, I feel like buying myself a megaphone. <laughs> you know, I'm telling you, and I would become these guys' manager any time of the day. These guys work hard. They're, they're so talented, and I couldn't believe you guys when you were down. You know, you always say, you know, guys are down and out. You guys were never out. My man. Never out. And you know, I'm so man. proud of you guys, and I hope I didn't uh, get in your way too much there. I tried to hold down Johnny. You there. know what? You, you, you did a good job, man. Yeah, you we couldn't have done it without you. Uh, you know what? I think I think we did pretty good not knowing each other. We never worked I together so, before. I think, I think we did so. pretty good. Yeah, anyway, the proof, yeah. are, proof are right here. Yeah, right here. Yeah, right. Right. You see that? Congratulations. That's right. Thank Congratulations, you, guys. Thank you. Listen, I'll tell you what. Your name may be Prince, but tonight you guys are kings holding the tag team. Team champs. No reversal. Aiden Prince, thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay, say double Oh my gosh, they say double Oh my god, you guys are amazing. That was difficult. You guys nailed it. <laughs> okay. I'm sweating because I was legitimately nervous if that was gonna work, but you guys did amazing. Now, speaking of win-win. I'm gonna bring up someone right now. And trust me, it goes all about winning. From world amateur wrestling champion to Olympic gold medalist. And he did it with a broken freaking neck. And he's been world champion everywhere. He went. I'm a big fan of his from before professional wrestling. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, I can't wait anymore. Kurt Angle!
but because of all of you. And to sit here 30 years later and look at what it's become. I gotta say thank you to all you people. favorite moments when I was a contracted WWE wrestler and Scott had said that he needed me and I exaggerated to the WWE heads that uh, I already had this prior commitment and uh, I came into the old Chicago club right and I was surprised and I energy when you can feel energy it's one of the most amazing things you can ever ascertain I think so many wrestlers chase that dragon of energy and the building was shaking and it was one of my favorite moments of my career not just just bcw just that you know the time of the industry there was no more ecw no more wcw and this thing called bcw was growing and i can feel this rush of energy that i used to get when i was in ecw and i got it again for a total shock value and surprise and it was just a great moment for everybody here in windsor but from almost day one, this man here is Jeffrey Scott. I got a young boy. He's going to walk the ground. Draw a boy! Draw a boy! Draw a boy! And folks, for, for every person who stepped into this ring, for every wrestler that's came here, for everybody who's entertained you, this guy was the guy behind the scenes right there with us. This, and I don't think there's anybody more deserving. He's been around for 10 years, 30 years, and he recognition his outstanding contributions and growth and success. The worst thing that's like over those 30 years, volunteer, rap, ring announcer, promoter, head chef, most importantly, one of the best damn friends you could ever ask for. We like to induct you into 2023 for the State Wrestling Hall of Fame. I had no clue. I hoped it was going to happen. I said at the 25th anniversary that, the, 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 that if this doesn't happen, I'm quitting wrestling. And then uh, going into a week, I was looking at the lineup and I didn't see anything about a Hall of Fame on there. And I thought, well, now I'm really going to have to eat it because do I really quit? Because I said that to myself. And then all, all of a sudden, when I saw the box coming out at ringside, I, was, I had a feeling something was going on. And it was like, honestly, my best friends in wrestling. I don't know, I just appreciate everybody that's come out and been to our shows from when we were doing LaSalle Arena in front of a couple hundred people to now filling, you know, the St. Clair Sportsplex two, three, four, five times. It just means a lot to me. I've been a wrestling fan since I was a little kid, and I love putting smiles on <laughs> other little kids' faces.
right, Director Moore here with Sports Entertainers. I'm here with Mickey Doyle, one of the first ever Can Am heavyweight champions. Sir, you've been here for almost every BCW event. What can you say about this? I mean, 30 years later, could you ever imagine it would grow into what it is now? It's just, uh, you know, it just started off as like a grassroots league of wrestling in, uh, what, about 1993? And, uh, God, it just, Scotty Demore just kept grinding and grinding and bringing in people and just expanding. And it's great. It, tonight was a blast. I had a blast tonight. One thing that you can pick out, what was your favorite moment, anything like that? Up tonight? Yes. Truthfully, when Jeff, Jeffrey Scott got his award, that was, to me, the best. That was great. He's tears of, tears of uh, sincere tears. That was nice, and he deserved it. He, he's been right there. for. He was our first student, believe it or not. I know. He was, we called him the, uh, the, the uh, Oriental Doink, and he never, he never really did the gimmick, but that's what we named him, and just a, yeah, good man. Uh, look, man, uh, 30 years, because it's, um, it's, it's really kind of humbling and, and awe-inspiring to look back on from, from where we began with such humble beginnings at the old LaSalle Arena to Ingrid walking by talking so loud. Um, <laughs> from the it's humble beginnings of LaSalle Arena to, to being here and, and, and all of this, to, to all the people that have came through here, to the, to the rock, to all the careers that we've launched. Here you get to see them before they're stars, you get to see them while they're stars, and then you get to see them like, like people from your childhood, like Jacques Rougeau, we had the Mountie here tonight. Like I just didn't think that you know, if 30 years ago you would have told me that I'd be sitting around having lunch with the Mountie, uh, I would have thought you were pretty crazy. Yeah. And as you mentioned, just prideful to be from Windsor, Ontario. I mean, it's kind of the whole thing, right? You do it for Windsor and for the crowd, for the people, and for the wrestlers. So that's what it's all about, and you just touch upon that a little bit. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's there wasn't wrestling in Windsor 30 years ago. It had kind of fallen by the wayside in some of those dark years. And when we looked at doing it, it was almost like, uh, whew, I mean, are people even going to show up? And uh, as Chuck Fader once said, from 125 people in an old arena where we're selling homebrew behind snow fence to a bunch of yahoos, uh, to 1,500 people, sportsplex like this, seen around the world, it's, uh, I mean, it's amazing, but it still boils down to Border City Wrestling is about Windsor, and it's about, it started to launch careers like myself and Bobby Clancy and Otis Apollo, and exists here today, and you just see the people that have come through it, and the Sheldon jeans, and the Pinder Gujars, and everything else, like it continues now, and we got a, we got a new class starting at the k &M Dojo in a few weeks, and we're going to take in that new class, that next generation, and we're going to keep giving them, uh, hopefully, opportunities to go out there and show the world. Well, fans, here we are, the end of the show, the end of Border City Wrestling, the 30th anniversary anniversary here at the St. Clair College Sportsplex. I mean, they, they have a great hospitality here. Curlis and I know about it. We went to school here. Um, <laughs> and Drake, on the other hand, uh, well, we'll start with you. Honestly, uh, you've been covering BCW for the longest time, and I think uh, you know somebody that runs BCW, but I guess it's safe to say you've seen all these wrestlers come in, past, present, and who knows the future. Just what are your thoughts about looking back at the 30 years and what we could expect in 2024 and beyond? Well, what to expect in 2024 and beyond, I think this is a little bit of a resurgence for BCW, a little bit of a spark for them. I mean, they've been derailed because of COVID and, and more so for the last five years. I haven't run a big show like this in five years. And I think that as we've seen with the wrestlers, the staff and the fans, everyone is eager for more. And I think we're going to see more BCW. I mean, but tonight... Tonight was about one thing, and I mean, everyone kind of took the words out of all of our mouths so far that we've spoken to, and it, it's about history, and it's about it's about art, it's about professional wrestling, and it's about Windsor, man. This is something that we hold, that's, that's why I've covered it for so long, as you know. I mean, this is something that we hold close to home here in Windsor, Ontario. We've been running up and down, left and right here all night, and... We're like broadcasters, we do the podcast, as you know, but uh, we can't help but to feel starstruck. And Carla, she said this as we were making our way up here, uh, up, up in the top, and it's like D'Lo Brown, Tommy Dreamer, Josh Alexander, Giselle Sean. The name goes on and on. It's like it, your thoughts when you take in, because you came into wrestling late. I mean... It's, it was over, it's an overwhelming experience. I got to meet a lot of cool new people, and it's just, it just walking by, and it just... It's it's such a cool experience and obviously a lot of talented 
a lot of talented workers, a lot of good matches, had a good time. We all had a good time. My legs hurt, my legs hurt. And uh, yeah, obviously some cool interviews probably placed somewhere in this video, <laughs> but uh, click here for more. So, you well, you could skip leg day now, all the steps that we take. I think we've taken about 10,000 steps running up and down here today. I think one of the takeaways when it comes to this special event is that it feels like this is our first time here because just when you think you've seen everything, yeah. you see a whole lot more surprises where that came from. But Kurt Angle, first and foremost, coming out here uh, from the U Sox to the Great Chance and Santino Morello, you got something to say. Walking, just walking by Kurt, I was like, I'm trying not to mark out. This is crazy. This is crazy. Santino Morello walks by. I'm like, man, you're you're one of my childhood favorites, and you just walk by me like it's nothing. Like what the hell? <laughs> so it's just, it's hard to it's hard to just keep my cool and be a professional. But uh, I mean, we're here now. Hopefully, there's a whole lot more to come from. And also, too, we saw a lot of young kids over there. They were right down the ramp. I think I find it interesting that when it comes to these local sporting events, the kids are the loudest we could be young kids at heart for like a few hours or so but you go down the ramp you, you see them either whooping or saying give that back or that's not the right thing referee what are you doing i mean that's what it's all about and you also interviewed jeff about it and you know it's about giving back it's about the kids because who knows 30 years from now they'll become ki they'll become adults and they could tell their children about it so bcw this is a wrestling promotion in windsor from generation to generation in in the future. Yeah, you, you took the words out of my mouth, man. You said it. This is what it's all about. It's about it's about fun. It's about passion. It's about entertainment. It's about putting smiles on people's faces. And BCW has been doing it for 30 years, and they haven't missed a beat. We've covered so many events, but I'll tell you, there, there's nothing more better than when an event comes here in the Rose City. And I, I feel it's more humbling to have it happen here and mind you, ladies and gentlemen, we went across the border for SummerSlam, but I think this is one of the best events we covered. Oh, before we sign off here, how great was it to see Jacques Rousseau the moment we stepped in there and before we came up here? Uh, Curlis, at least he remembered us. Yeah, for a second there, he forgot who we were, but uh, then he was like, oh my God, it's you guys. Oh. You see, that's what happens when the lights go out like that. It's hard to find out. kind of marked out for us for a little bit there. I felt really good about that. I was like, oh, look at that. I, you know, it's it's cool. It's cool. It feels like a full circle moment, too, seeing Jacques. And, uh, again, for him to, to come in and just remember us, you know, who knows who you're going to see in BCW. Right? Yeah, and I kind of called it on the podcast with, with uh, Jacques. I said, I think that Scott's going to mark out for you a little bit. And, he, and as he, he was excited to, to see him. But, man, the only thing I could say about Jacques, two things. He's a gentleman, but there's only another way to describe it. Is that guy's a beauty. That guy is good <laughs> shit, man. And all Canadian, too. That does it for us here. And remember, we're, we're not only in front of the camera but we're also behind the mic so sports entertainers podcast catch us every two weeks windsor's only wrestling podcast that's us for curlis maddie and drake the more this be your boy the frost father aaron sanders saying we'll see you again in our podcast thanks for watching and now we leave you today with some highlights of bcw 30th so long everybody
to 30 more. Because trust me, I haven't had my fill yet. So one more time, for everybody here, for everybody in the back, for everybody around here that's done all the hard work to keep the doors open in this place for 30 years, I want to hear BC Dub! BC Dub! BC Dub!